Welcome back to IGN Live at San Diego Comic-Con 2022. Uh, Dragon Ball Super Super Hero is out next month, and hype levels are really high. I would say, like, somewhere, you know, less than 10,000, definitely more than 8,000, but, you know, who's, who's keeping track? We were originally going to do an extended shot-by-shot -shot breakdown of the I Am Groot trailer, but everybody in the chat was yelling about Dragon Ball, so we threw that idea in the wood chipper. Sorry, Groot. Uh, so, yeah, your wish is granted. Let's talk Dragon Ball instead. I'm joined by Akeem Lawanson and Kat Bailey both of whom were at the Dragon Ball Super panel. Before we get started, um, there's a weird spoiler warning we have to give. Yeah. This movie's been out in Japan for a while. The trailers have stuff that could be construed as spoilers. People were watching, like our Dragon Ball, you, you talked to Chris about, and he's, they were mad that you were spoiling Apparently stuff. Apparently so. Like even the man who is the voice <laughs> of the character that we all know and love, right. he was, Lightly spoiling it? I don't. For some I don't know what the rule. Like, the, it's weird because I feel like back when we got into Dragon Ball, it was like, well, you go on GeoCities and read spoilers about the Majin Buu saga because that hasn't been localized yet. You're like, oh, I can't wait to find out why any of these things are happening. Anyway, my point is, if you're trying to avoid spoilers about Dragon Ball Super Superhero, uh, you're probably in the wrong place because I don't know what can you consider spoilers. That said, let's get into it. Uh, let's talk about that panel. Yeah, we're gonna spoil everything, starting <laughs> uh, with the first 20 minutes, which was shown uh, during the panel. I'm gonna, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna break it all down. Uh, but yeah, we, we were fortunate enough uh, to see uh, the first 20 minutes uh, of uh, the movie, and it does a great job, because uh, there are some people that are gonna be coming into this that might not be too familiar with uh, the Red Ribbon Army. Uh, they do a great job of, of just telling you about the entire story, uh, the story arc of the Red Ribbon Army, starting from Dragon Ball, moving to Dragon Ball Z, uh, and to where we are now, which is Dragon Ball Super. And I love the fact that they, they, they did that, because uh, honestly, I forgot, you know, because it was such a long time that I saw Goku, Kid Goku, uh, take on the Red Ribbon Army, so I was glad that we got, you know, this backstory, some filler mm -hmm. uh, on that whole uh, saga. Cat, anything jump out at you? Yeah, we also got to see Piccolo and Gohan have a little bit of a bromance. That was like super yeah. sweet. Yeah. And um, we got to see Pan, which was Pan. lovely. Cute so cute. Pan. Yes. So we have the trailer here. We're going to talk over it a little bit. We're going to cut, jump around, try to point out some stuff. Um, so yeah, like let the check check it out. I think there's some. Is the drag, Dragon Ball Super? It's got right to it's got to come up. There, there it is. There okay. It's the movie we've been waiting for. Okay. So yeah, this. So this was, yeah, so this is the trailer that they uh, showed us uh, during um, the panel. Uh, right here, I think it's kind of it's kind of being there. It is there. It, so right there, we see Pan. Uh, now I really want want to talk about Pan because what I love that's happening in this in this movie is Piccolo is training Pan, similar to how he did uh, with Kid Gohan. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very weird because it's like father like son. Uh, Gohan has become much like Goku back when Gohan was a child where he's neglecting Pan and leaving Pan to be raised and trained uh, by Piccolo. Uh, but the thing is where Goku pretty much wanted to, I wanna be stronger. Gohan wants to be smarter. He wants to be a great scholar. Yeah, that's why he wears glasses. You know, that, that's what glasses Glasses mean. make you smart. Yeah, exactly. What uh, I'm learning is that Dragon Ball Super Hero, Super Superhero? Super Superhero, Super yes. Superhero is really a movie about generational trauma, <laughs> which means that it fits in perfectly with the current oeuvre of, yeah. uh, of films. It's like ahead of the curve, it's prestige. Yeah, now, while we're watching this, I just want to say this, uh, if anyone's wondering at home, the reason I have this laptop is because we are looking at chat. So if you all have any questions uh, about the trailer uh, breakdown that we're doing right now, or just about the panel, um, everything that took place uh, at the panel, please drop it uh, in the chat. And I'm going to be reading them out loud uh, right now. I see uh, Kabuki, uh, uh, ooh, I'm not going to say the rest of your name. Uh, <laughs> Kabuki said fatherless behavior right there. Yes, absolutely. That's exactly what's happening in, in this uh, movie. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's see more. Uh, let's, can, can we run that back? Let's, let's run that back. Let's run back to where we see Piccolo in a disguise. <laughs> so, so right, right there, yeah. So that's actually Piccolo, and it looks like, I mean, Dude, like, spoilers, come on. I, look, I didn't do it. I didn't tell <laughs> Toy Animation to release this trailer. Uh, but what I think is he's gonna, he's going on like a Metal Gear Solid type mission, uh, infiltrating uh, the Red Ribbon Army. I don't know what your, what your Who's take on this. Who's stealthier than Piccolo, I right? Mean, like, I mean, not obvious at all. <laughs> That's, that's just my, my theory on this. Again, like not much uh, else is revealed. I, I doubt he's joining the Red Ribbon Army. That wouldn't make any sense. 
Probably not. That would be weird. I, like, so I'm, I would have more input here, but I've been kind of on media blackout too, and I'm like, yeah. this is, I'm, I'm seeing this for the first time. Wait, I, are we inundating you with too much super? No, it's super fine. I've actually, it's weird. I've had like the information spoiled, but the visuals I have, like, I haven't seen anything from this, but I've yeah. like heard pieces of stuff from the internet that I'm like, all right, that. Let, let's run. That, let's run. Let's run that back uh, before the 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 Go Tanks booty. Uh, I, mean, let's I was going to say that's run it back to. Right there. No, yeah, we'll, we'll check out the booty. What happened to the scene this of character right here. I want to talk about this yeah, character because yeah, I don't know if you know who this character is, Max. So this is Gamma One. So these are two uh, androids uh, that were created by uh, Doctor uh, Hado, who was Doctor Jero's grandson. Um, and I have a theory about Doctor Hado's <laughs> story arc, but. It's also out there, so it's not even a theory. It's yeah. my theory is actually true. Okay. I accidentally spoiled it by going to the Wikipedia and reading my theory. And All right. Yeah, but Wikipedia he, he spoils created. everything. Absolutely, that's what yeah. it's there Don't for. Don't read the Wikipedia for this. I think I actually I spoiled it too for myself, just trying to find out when it's coming. It's coming out uh, August 19th in the States, everybody. That's a and spoiler. Don't yeah. you spoiling things. <laughs> Wait for August to come before. Fair enough. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm really into this, so I, I, I really like the Android saga. Like, I love that corner of that, you know, that timeline. And I also, like, I'm a bigger fan of, of Dragon Ball No Z than I am of Dragon Ball Z. And, like, the connection between the Android saga and the Cell saga and the Red Ribbon saga, like, I love that so much. But I totally, like, when the Android saga first aired, like, we didn't, we, there was no way of tracking that down. Like, you yeah. didn't know who any of these people were. You're like, well, this weird man with a mustache and a funny hat and a translucent brain helmet really wants to kill Goku for some reason, I guess. And it just, you know, androids up the wazoo, and it was, it was great, it was fun. And then, I don't know, I like went back and you know, got to learn all the stuff that came before that. And that's sort of that, that funny thing about how people consume, I guess, Dragon Ball. It's almost yeah. 40 years old. Like we're pushing, you know, it's what, the manga started in like 84, I think? Like it's, it's old. And you know, we talk about generational trauma, there's also generational media, and there, there's his bottom. Right? There's, there yeah, there, there's his bottom. There's uh, a lot of butt again, stuff in this one, that huh? back. There's a lot of butt stuff in this movie. Like Dragon even Bo Ball in Boma general, was really. adding her butt. Look at that. And we got, Go tanks patting his butt right there. Now, I'm kind of curious. I wonder what type of damage happened for that. Like what? Who, who's who's shooting him in the in the butt? There's a lot of butt <laughs> talk, by the way. I hope this is allowed. Check out the Wikipedia to find out what happened to Go uh, Tanks' ass. What's 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 interesting about this though is uh, like like Goten and Trunks. I, what I'm shocked like I, Go Tanks is my favorite character, by the way, uh, and I remember them constantly trying to get it right. Mm -hmm. Doing the fusion dance, they became an old, skinny old man. They became this, this character that we see here before they perfected it. I'm curious to know, why did they stay the fat go tanks? I don't, I don't know. So it. we've got a question from uh, Rayla Powell. Says, how much of a time skip from the end of the super anime is there? And like, where, yeah, where are we? I'm well, right now, again, uh, I haven't, I haven't, spoiled myself by looking at the official timeline, but what I can say uh, from what was revealed in the first 20 minutes uh, is, yes, yeah, I know who that was. Uh, what was revealed in the first 20 minutes is Pan is three years old uh, in the movie. So based on that, I want you all in the chat to deduce where in the timeline this takes place without me saying it, because Somewhere I Somewhere between don't the end know. of GT and the beginning of Evolution. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now let's let's run that back because what we saw was a character uh, a character that it's a fan favorite character. Uh, let's run it back to Broly. That's not Broly. That, that, no, he's just closed his eyes. That's Weiss. <laughs> I mean, it's Beerus rather. Right there. Pause. Pause. Weiss says pause. Yeah, that's right. The kitty. This is Broly. You know. You know that's what happened Broly. in. So in 2019, something special happened in this studio. Everyone started chanting another word that started with B. Blade. It was Blade. Blade. Can we get a Broly chant? <laughs> Doesn't have the same cadence Bro to it. Broly. No. It I don't know. We, so we not. Y'all. Y'all not gonna leave me hanging. We doing this. Broly. 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 No. Really. Really. Only like I, six I people. Don't know. I'm more excited I about. I thought Broly was a fan favorite. I guess not. Everyone in the chat is. Look they made at, a whole movie about him. It's like the eleventh highest grossing anime movie well, of all time. Broly got his time. Like give Doctor Jerome. I like Piccolo. Or whatever. And this movie has a lot of Piccolo. Yeah. A lot of Piccolo. I mean, he's like, yeah. Well, I, at least people in the chat are loving it. Like Trey Thornton says, "My boy Broly, thank you." Uh, yeah. Toy Bonnie says, "Broly, you misspelt it though. There's no e in Broly, uh, and there's not two L's." But so at least we're getting some love in the chat for Broly. Mm. Um, again, like fan favorite. Everyone loved the movie when it came out. Uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly when it came out. In 
in 2018. So uh, it's good to know that he's making a return. Nick Millman says, is the Atla no news true? Is the Atla news true? Well, the thing about the Atla news is you have to know what that is in order to that feels like a, a that's cipher a, that if feels it's like a true. spoiler trick right there. I think it is. I don't, I, yeah, let's, uh, or is that supposed to be Atla? I don't know. I'm just reading that. <laughs> it's a very obscure character. Atla. Anyway, cat loves food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so. Okay, so let's let's talk about. Doha. All right, we're doing, we're doing like the most like lackadaisical rewind of this possible, but you know, all in the name of. Well, there, there's the chat. <laughs> we're gonna where we're gonna see. I believe we're gonna see something else. Yeah, that's that's so right there. I mean, that's Piccolo. That's I don't Piccolo. know. If this I can is, see him. He's right there. This it, this could be a spoiler, but I mean, it was already uh, spoiled by uh, the creator Toriyama. Uh, there's there's gonna be Piccolo is gonna be orange at some point in this movie. He's gonna he's gonna be orange, and Toriyama said. Uh, the name of it is, this new form for Piccolo is Orange Piccolo. Okay. You know, Toriyama's had a lot of great ideas in his time, and I won't fault him for just doing that. Just Orange Piccolo. Okay. Anyway, there Makes you go. Sense. Dragon Ball Super Superhero is out August 19th, and there's so much more Comic-Con coming up after that, after this, but not today, tomorrow. Um, but we have a bunch of coverage of everything that happened today. You can head over to IGN.com and IGN's YouTube and check out all the stuff that went up. Tons of cool interviews, lots of great bits and pieces from the show floor, uh, and there's lots of written stuff on IGN.com. For now, though, that about wraps up uh, day one of IGN Live at San Diego Comic-Con, and tomorrow is jam-packed with even more cool stuff. We have got The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, The Walking Dead, Shazam, Fury of the Gods, The Callisto Protocol, Sandman, and a massive panel in response to the Marvel Cinematic Universe panel that will be happening and they're gonna be unveiling the next 17 years worth of phase four projects or whatever. Uh, we're gonna be watching that live and we're probably gonna have way better updates to keep you informed about what's going on with that. Um, but until then, thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, this is a full day of live coverage here at San Diego Comic-Con. We will be seeing you here again tomorrow. I hope you, thank you so much for watching and thank you to everybody back there making it happening. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you all so much.